Welcome. Are you ready to create today? I know I am. Today, we are going to be creating a feelings card. I've had several young friends tell me that sometimes it's hard for them to tell their special adult how they're feeling. So if you have trouble expressing your feelings in words, then it might help you to make a feelings card. The way we're going to do this feelings card is we're going to make it like a traffic light. So I have a piece of poster board that's going to be the body of our light. And then I have construction paper that I've already, uh, already taken the liberty of cutting out the circles for the lights. But of course, the green for go, the yellow for slow down, and the red for stop. Okay. I also have a small pebble or small stone. And I'll explain to you what that's for in a moment. And our paper cement. So we're going to begin by using the paper cement to put our red, yellow, and green circle on our traffic light. Now, I'm going to start in the middle with the yellow circle. I think it would be easier for me to judge where the center of the traffic light is. All right. And we will glue that down. Does that look about center? All right. Now, Put some paper cement on our red circle. And I will put it like so. And then Put paper cement on our green circle. I'll glue it. So, there we go. We have a traffic light, but what this is, is a feelings card. So the way you would use your feelings card, we first close up our paper cement so it doesn't dry out. So if you were feeling like you needed to slow down and just stop and have some quiet time, you would take your pebble and you would put it on the red. And you would just stop and be still. And then when you felt like you were able to do things again. You could take your pebble off and put it on green and that means you can go and you can do what you need to do. If you feel like you just need to slow down but not stop, like if you're working on homework and you don't understand you're, what you're doing and you just need some time to really think about what you're doing, you would put your stone on yellow and then you would take the time you need to figure out how to do your homework and do it well. And then when you're feeling good and you're able to go again, you put your stone back on green. 
Then if you feel that you need to stop, move your stone to red and you stop for a while. And if you're feeling like you just need some slow time, you move it to yellow. And when you're ready to go again, you move it to green. And that's how a feelings card works. I hope you and your special adult will consider making a feelings card that you can use in your home. I'll see you again later for more creating.